Shh. Hey, zookeepers, you got to be quiet. I'm checking on the quail. They're in a group over there, and a group of quail is called a covey. I don't want them to fly away. But welcome to the Zoo Crew Alphabet Show. Today, we're going to learn about quails and the letter Q. Now, there's a lot of different quails, and they live in a lot of different habitats. So, do you know which habitat our quail lives in? Okay, I'm going to give you three choices. So, let me get my zoom app because I always have it. All right, there we go. Okay. Do the quails live in the aquatic habitat? Hmm. Or the farm habitat? Or do you think the mountain habitat? You're right, it's the mountain habitat. So let's go on our zoo adventure and have Zookeeper Zach kick it off. Hello, zookeepers. Welcome to our zoo. Now let me tell you, you've never seen animals like these before. We call them the Zoo Crew. And I'm going to introduce you to them one by one in alphabetical order. You guys ready to meet them? Let's meet Quentin Quail. So I have my magic letter Q card and let's see Quentin. Ooh, hey, look at him flying. He just landed, and you see that little thing on the top of his head? That's called a plume or a top knot. It's kind of fun to say, a top knot. Can you see his black little eyes and black beak? Let's see if you can see that. He's so fidgety. Quentin, hold still so we can see. See right there? Oh, he's so cute. Now, did you hear the sound that Quentin made? Let's see if Gertie can make that sound. Hey, Gertie, can you come on out? Oh, okay. What's wrong, Gertie? You sound so sad and you look so sad. Yeah. Well, I was trying to play leapfrog with Frankie Frog and all my friends at the zoo. Yeah. But none of the animals could jump over me because I'm too tall. Oh, yes, you are tall. And I could see that would be a challenge. I wish I wasn't so tall. But you know what? Some of your best features is you being so tall. Do you remember you were playing that basketball game the other day? And you scored all the points because you're so tall right near the basket. Yeah. Yeah, and another thing. You yeah. remember when you saved Zookeeper Zack out of the tall tree? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, you were the only one who could do that because you were so tall. Yeah, and he was so thankful, too. He was. I think I saved his life. <laughs> he probably did. Mm -hmm. Will you feel a little bit better now? Yeah, well, thanks for reminding me. It's good to be reminded. Yeah, we like you for who you are. Well... Mm. Thank you. Me and the zookeepers were wondering if you could sound like Quentin Quail. Hmm. Well, can you refresh my memory and let me hear it again? I sure can. <coughs> ah. Mm. Ah. That's good. Ah. Zookeepers, ah. can you sound like Quentin Quail? Ah. Ooh, those are good. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Well, we all sound like quails today, so it's pretty good. Ah. Now, we know that letters make sounds too. Right, Gertie? Right. So press the word quail, and let's see if you can hear the beginning sound. Quail. Quail. Qu quail. Qu qu That's right. The mm -hmm. sound is qu qu like in quail. Can you think of other words that start with that sound? Hmm. Qu quack. Mm-hmm. Quiet. Mm -hmm. Let's be quiet. I hear that all the time. <laughs> quick. Quack. Ooh. Quiet and quick. Those are good. Yeah. Zookeepers, can you think of words that start with qu? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a mm -hmm. good one. We didn't even think of that. Yeah. Okay, so now what letter makes the qu sound? You the know? letter Q. That's right, the mm -hmm. letter Q. So mm -hmm. let's go there. All right, we're going to play the uppercase, lowercase, lowercase game. game. 
So do we think that this is the uppercase letter Q or the lowercase letter Q? I think it's the lowercase letter Q. You're right. That's yeah. the lowercase. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the uppercase. Yeah. Ooh, that's Ooh. a little different. It is. It looks like an O with a line through it. It does. Yeah. So that's the uppercase letter Q. Mm -hmm. And do you remember what sound the letter Q makes? Yeah. Let's hear I it. I do. Qua, qua. That's qua. right. The best way to remember the letter sound is in his name, Quentin Quail. Mm -hmm. So let's go there, Gertie. Okay. Quentin Quail. Let's see if we can hear the beginning sounds. Okay. Quentin Quail. Qua, qua, Quentin. Mm -hmm. Qua, qua, Quail. Right. It's time for my letter sound song. Okay. Qua, qua, Quentin. Qua, qua, Quail. The letter Q makes the sound mm -hmm. qua, qua, qua. Qua, qua, Quentin. Qua, qua, Quail. The letter Q makes the sound qua, qua, qua. Yay! Yay! I love that. Mm -hmm. Well done. Thank you. Let's learn more about quail. Do you know what a baby quail is called? Hmm. I'm going to give you three choices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it called a hatchling? Hmm. Is it called a joey? Hmm. Or is it called a chick? Hmm. What do you think? Well... I think it's called a hatchling. You do? Why do you think yeah. it's called a hatchling? Well, aren't all animals that come from eggs called hatchlings? Oh, that's a good point, but not in this case. Oh! A quail comes from an egg, and it's called a chick. A chick? That's right. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> yep. Here's another question. How long do you think quail can live? Hmm. Do you think they can live one year? Or how about four years? Or how about ten years? What do hmm. they think? Well, it looks to me like they would live to be about four years. You're right. Mm. It's four years. Yay. All mm -hmm. right. Now I have my magic video card. Yeah. And we're going to see quail in their habitat. Wow. Ooh. Wow, what do you think they're doing? Looks like they're eating bugs and seeds. And yeah, stuff. they're eating seeds and bugs. Mm -hmm. They look so cute roaming around yeah. in their habitat. Yeah. Okay, well, do you know what time it is? It's lunchtime. No, <laughs> it's not lunchtime. <laughs> it's Story time! That's right. It's story time, it's story time. We love it when our stories rhyme. Another animal from our zoo. It's so much fun for me and you. All right, get comfy for our story. Yay! Let's read our story. Quentin Quail Wants to Quack. Mm -hmm. Written by L.A. Ricketson and illustrated by Ryan Sellers. And there's Quentin Quail, and he's reading a book. And it says, How to Quack. Hmm. I wonder what this story is going to be about. Quacking. <laughs> Let's see. Quentin Quail wants to quack like his friend the duck. He tries so hard to make that sound, but simply has no luck. He takes a breath and licks his beak, thinking that will help. He puffs his chest and stomps his feet, yet only blurts a yelp. Quentin makes all kinds of sounds, but nothing like a quack. He chirps and tweets and whistles too, then falls on his back. Mm. Laying there, he starts to smile. I didn't really fail. My whistle sounded super cool. I'm glad that I'm a quail. Mm. And there he is laying on his back, Thumbs up saying, I'm super cool. Well, that reminds me of you today, Gertie, when you were sad because mm -hmm. you couldn't play leapfrog with your friends. Yeah, I felt bad when I couldn't play because I'm a giraffe and I'm too tall for mm -hmm. that game. That's true. Mm -hmm. well, what makes you feel better now? 
Really, you encouraged me when you reminded me of things I can do mm -hmm. because I'm so tall. Like when I rescued zookeeper Zach out of the tree. Yes, I remember that day. That was great. Yeah, <laughs> I like being tall. Yeah, you're special just the way you are mm. being tall. <laughs> you're right. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding. I'm special the way I am being tall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here's a question from the story. What did Quentin Quayle want to do? I'm going to give you three choices. Mm. Did he want to quack like a duck? Hmm. Mm. Or did he want to roar like a lion? Or did he want to moo like a cow? <laughs> what do you think, zookeepers? Mm. Mm -hmm. What about you, Gertie? I think he wanted to quack like a duck. That's right. He wanted to <laughs> quack like a duck. A lot of you got that. I heard you. Yeah. You can have your own Quentin Quail mm -hmm. story. Just look for the link in the description below and you might have to click on show more so you can see it and you can download it, mm -hmm. you can read it, print it and, and color, color it. it. Let's do our zoo, zoo review. review. Okay, Yay. today we learned about quail. That's right. And what habitat do they live in? Mountain. Mm -hmm. And what is a baby quail called? A check. That's right. And we learned about the uppercase letter Q and, and the, the lowercase lower letter Q. Q. And we also learned that the letter Q has one sound. sound. Right, Gertie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Qua, qua, like Quentin Quail. Mm -hmm. And we gained a new, new friend. friend. Quentin Quail. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for joining us, Sue Keepers. Yeah. We always love having you. Well, next show, we're going to learn about the letter R. Hmm. And what animal do you think starts hmm. with the letter R? <gasps> Ravioli! That's not an animal. Ow. <laughs> well, join us next time. We've made it all the way through our most lively zoo crew. And it was so nice to meet you. And now you know what they do. If you have any questions, you can repeat this lesson. And you can keep learning, friends. Ah, learning never ends.